Uh, Ms. Beth Oppenheim, when we discuss how uh, the authorities have been dealing with the pandemic and how they've been dealing with the Israeli-Palestinian conflict at the same time, what do you see happening? I think the first thing to say is that these news stories over the last few days about demolitions of medical facilities in Hebron and Janine have been garnering a lot of attention. There's still a lack of clarity around the circumstances, whether they were indeed health facilities or private Palestinian land. That's something that um, is being investigated by local human rights organizations as we speak. But I think what's important to say is that the land in question is in Area C, as divided up by the Oslo Accords, and that area is under full Israeli control. And what, and what we've been seeing here during this period is really, is really a continuation of existing trends. Um, so basically, the Palestinians who wish to build in Area C of the West Bank are required to request permits from the Israeli civil administration, which is a very opaque process. There's no consistency. There's no transparency. And we see that 98.6% of Palestinian applications to build in Area C from 2016 to 2018 were denied. And that creates a situation where Palestinians, but also humanitarian organizations, are forced to build without these permits from the Israeli authorities and then run the risk of demolition by the Israeli defense forces. As my colleague said, we've seen a sharp increase in demolitions in June alone. According to B'Tselem, another human rights organization, Israel demolished 30 Palestinian homes in the West Bank. That's more than in the first five months of 2020. So we've seen that actually, in spite of the health crisis and the very dire um, circumstances for Palestinians living in the West Bank as it is, there has been no uh, let up in Israel's policy. And I think it's important to say that this really fits into a broader picture of dispossession and of population control, particularly in Area C of the West Bank, which is the area where most Jewish settlers live, and it's the least densely populated area by Palestinians. It also has much of the most fertile land for farming in the West Bank. This is where Israel has been um, locating the majority of its creeping policy of annexation in the West Bank.